It's time for Indonesia and yep, that's me in a crystal clear water swimming alone. Good morning everyone, it's day one. In this video you will see beautiful pools, great nature and amazing different hotels in a crazy adventure. It all started at the airport. The Indonesian embassy in Algeria invited me to explore their beautiful country. And let me say I was very lucky that Ramzi was part of this trip. He's so much fun to be around. Very tired. Very, we are very tired. I all. <laughs> Three flights, Algiers, Dubai, Dubai, Jakarta and then Jakarta to Bali until we made it to our hotel. Oh. oh, it's a big comfortable bed. The next day I woke up very early, went for breakfast, very, very colorful. I woke up at 6 a.m. before everyone else and I think I'm lucky because I don't usually get jet lag, usually. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, slept at midnight, woke up at 6 and I had my breakfast now good. Going to the beach because it's 15 minutes walking and walking is good for your health. And uh, I like to do some exploring alone, always. Ah, oh, beautiful mornings. I think you can rent these boats to go on a tour. Or are they fishing boats? I don't know. And more. On my way back to the hotel, I found a souvenir shop and I immediately knew I was going to be back to buy some gifts. We had a driver along the whole trip to make sure we see the most of Bali. And I was very excited as the embassy has put together a great program. It's time to get a SIM card and exchange money. We did the money exchange and then I got a SIM card right next to the shop. And let me tell you, it was cheap. So we just made it to this really cool restaurant. We're gonna meet the tourism uh, office people. And uh, oops, who's just Maya? Maya had tea. Let's go. Hello. Oh, climatize. <laughs> This one's spicy. spicy. Balinese, spicy. we love spicy food. This is my way. My way. It's local this date. Big laugh. Big laugh more. Yeah. Oh, from, from Algeria. Algeria. You can't find this kind of dates anywhere this else. With milk. The yeah. least. <laughs> oh. Then fish spicy. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I agree, I agree. I agree. So I accept this. Yeah, I think. Oh. Thank you. Gilda was very generous and so nice. Her calming words as she explains a lot about the Polynesian culture. How people here give back small gifts of appreciation that small animals can eat, for example, ants, where you put small things in your balcony so that they can eat too. And the meaning of terimakasi accepting with love. So if you take flower from a tree, for example, you accept it with love. You're grateful, and so you say, Terimakasi. For lunch, we had randang, which is a traditional Indonesian meat. We had fish and chicken as well, and a few more things. And it wasn't over because the dessert was, as usual, colorful. After the visit, it was time to chill at the beach club. I had my swimming clothes ready. Now it's time to enjoy this beautiful pool and crystal clear water. So we entered. And I didn't wait. I had to go swim and relax. This was literally a dream come true. Then we went to see the fire dance, which was going to happen by sunset, with a view on the sea. 
So we just made it to Uluwatu Temple uh, after the beach and it was a very good swim. Uh, and there's like a fire dance going on, so we're gonna watch it. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. After that, it was time for dinner and again by the beach. And who doesn't like seafood? Of course, Ramzi, who makes friends everywhere he goes, almost became part of this band. <laughs> you it was very warm and a tasty meal and again this was fun <laughs> And that's how it ended. Shopping time, we came to Krishna, a shop, like many shops, that's open 24 hours and it says souvenirs shop. Howdy. like jacket that's typically Indonesian, Balinese but I'm like in between I like it so much and I don't like it so I don't know thank you thank you bye well the next morning I ended up taking big dream catchers and the hat that's now my favorite hat in Bali you will find motorbikes for rent everywhere and a lot of people driving them it's a blessing to be waking up so early you know and walking these beautiful narrow streets where there's just greenery everywhere uh, yeah terima kasih selamat datang di Bali Welcome, come to Bali. Yay! Everybody. <laughs> now, the fun. We made it to the water boom. It's the biggest in Southeast Asia, if not in Asia. Anyway, it's time to play. Yeah, that's a... Hi! Hello! 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 Okay, bye Rizzi. We got there in the morning, so it was still not full of people. It was more of a workout day because there was a lot of stairs, but it also looked like a beautiful jungle. I was a little scared, so Ramzi went first. <laughs> yep, my nervous laugh. But I liked it so much that I did it again and again and again. I tried every game I could. And then it was time for relaxation. And here is the view you would get while you lay in the water and let the flow take you. 
So now it's time to eat where the locals eat. It's a very noisy street, which is great. Um, you know, every country has its own culture, own special food. So now we're going to eat where the locals eat. The food in Indonesia in general is very spicy and though I do not like spicy food, I did enjoy the meals that we had. It was also fun to eat in a local restaurant. Some food is more spicy than another, so I struggled a little bit. I see very typical... Shopping. Okay. We spent the first few days in Kota and it was time to see Ubud. Me and Chinia are ready to leave for a new adventure. You can only enjoy the narrow streets, the motorbikes and nature whenever you turn your head. And as we were leaving Kuta, it started raining. I was very excited to see our next hotel, a great place for yoga where the pool is right next to the river and the forest that looks like an avatar scene. Almost every hotel you go to has a bike that you can use to explore the area and it's a must to clear your head. Hi. Hello. 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 The energy everyone gives you is so positive. You can only smile back to the smiley people here. And sometimes just the feeling of driving in an empty street lets you think very clearly. Our next visit was to one of the cleanest villages in the world. Pangli Poran village. And even though it was raining, it was still very beautiful. People come to visit this village from around the world, and it's a great example that we all should try to copy. I tried taking some pictures as I was wearing a beautiful dress. There's a small coffee shop that also sells Asian fruits inside the village, like durian, the smelliest fruit in the world, and other fruits that I have never seen before. A huge thank you to Rezi from the Indonesian embassy that made this trip so incredible with her presence. So we're just leaving Pangripulan village. Uh, Rezi, is it the cleanest in Bali or is it one of the cleanest? Ah, so this is the cleanest village, village in all of Indonesia, eh, in Markeran. There's a lot of motorbikes and buses, but uh, I hope you can hear me. So anyways, it's been a really nice, quick visit. Let's now go and have lunch. As we were having lunch in one of the restaurants that has a great view on a lake, it started getting foggy, so I cannot show you. But our next visit is to one of the most beautiful places. A coffee farm. When the color is black, color like that, that means it's uh, too ripe, it's not good for the coffee. Yeah. Where's the fire? What? Where's that's the... that's on the top. Ah, oh, yeah. Only papaya, no mamaya. <laughs> It's a coffee farm where you get to see the process of making Balinese coffee. And so we did, and all of them were very tasty. Ah. This farm is located in the middle of an amazing scenery, beautiful high trees, and it's a great view to enjoy while you relax here. We got to see the whole process and also try it. 
Once you try all the coffee, you can purchase the ones that you prefer. Wash. Yeah, the taste different, the quality is different. Yeah, the Lua coffee, because the animal eat the coffee bean. Mm. Yeah, the Lua coffee already has fermentation from the stomach animal. I like the natural lemon tea, but now I regret that I only took one pack because it was very tasty. So this is the one I'm taking. Yeah. A visit to rice fields is a must. Talking to smiley locals and seeing them work. Okay, I just made it to the rice field and uh, the famous swing. Then having fun. And after such a beautiful day, it was time for a massage. I slept during the whole hour of the massage. It's time for a massage. I don't know how I'm looking. I had an incident. My drone fell into the river. And uh, so it was like, it was uh, crazy. Oh, it's beautiful. So it's time for the massage. I am very excited. I've been waiting for this. We had a lot of options and I chose Bicicleta. What do you call everywhere? Uh, I chose the relaxation one. There's a tension one, but I think it's too strong for me. So yeah, I'm excited to sleep. Yay! Okay, good. And it was time to have dinner. I cannot describe how beautiful every restaurant and every hotel is. The food is warm and very tasty, especially the shrimp. And it's a beautiful place to visit on your honeymoon or just with your family. I am officially in love with Ubud. It's a jungle. It's heaven. It's gosh, I love it. Now it's time for the room tour. And of course, I will be doing a behind the scenes video next because there's much more to see. This hotel is literally one of the best hotels I have ever been to. All the hotels we've been to are on my Instagram and the cool pictures and stories as well. Let me show you the balcony. I have another pool right next to my room. This is so beautiful. I can live here for a month. I decided to go for a swim, but before, it's time to have breakfast. A stylish breakfast in a stylish area with a great view. I enjoyed swimming alone. Sabha khurafiya. Sabha khurafiya. Yalla, hana al-waqt li-dhahab. We're going to Jakarta, we're going to meet uh, the uh, tourism minister, minister of tourism here in uh, Indonesia. Bye! It's time to go to the airport and I am so grateful for our guide and driver. They have been very helpful and very smiley during the whole trip. First female Algerian travel blogger in front of YouTube. First, yeah. yeah. Congratulations. Thank ah, you. This is named after you, Noor Corner. Yeah. The minister was nice and even filmed the food challenge with us. One, two, three. Oops. Oops. <laughs> Thank you. 
our guide today. Yeah. I like that everyone is so smiley. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What's everyone. the secret? Yeah, this is one of the characters of the ah. people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We stayed at a seven stars hotel, and for me, it was time to relax in the beautiful Jakarta. I'm gonna end this with a room tour at the Kampensky Hotel. See you in the next video behind the scenes. Next week. <laughs>